Lamb Electric, a brand from Amatech DFF, makes a wide variety of vacuum motors. We've torn down an example to show what goes into these powerful devices. The one we have here is model number of 1194-14-00. Among its features are double ball bearings in the housing encompassing the motor shaft and a two-stage vacuum. In our teardown, we'll show you the two stages, the bearings, and a couple of other interesting features we found. This is a single speed blower. One thing we were impressed with when we powered up the motor was that it hit its working speed super quickly, like almost instantaneously. Its top speed can be as high as 22,450 RPM. We'll show you the details in its construction that reveal why it comes up to speed so fast. But first, we'll reveal the blower details. LAM calls this a 5.7 inch diameter vacuum motor. The 5.7 inches refers to the diameter of the vacuum housing. The inlet to the housing is in the center and the exhaust is via outlets around the edge. The first step in our disassembly was to pop off the outer part of the enclosure to reveal the components of the vacuum assembly. Removing it allows the removal of the blower components and gives a good view of the two stages, showing how they take in air at the center and exhaust it at the outer diameter of the housing. That brings us to the motor components. The motor has its own cooling fan, which is covered by a plastic enclosure piece. This plastic piece can be popped off to reveal the motor fan and the thermoset bracket holding the motor components. The fan blade is pressed onto the end of the motor shaft. So to get at the rest of the motor components, we had to cut it off. The type of motor LAM makes is called a Series Universal. The theory behind Series Universal motors goes beyond what we can cover in this video. But the main point to note is that this type of motor has graphite brushes that make an electrical connection with the rotor as it spins. This type of motor runs at high RPM because it operates in what's often called a runaway condition, where the only thing that restricts the motor speed is the friction or the load. This is why if you restrict the air intake, you will notice the motor RPM climbs. This is also why the data sheet for this vacuum motor lists a different motor RPM depending on the amount of vacuum pulled, ranging from 17,800 RPM to 22,450 RPM. Also noteworthy is that this is a much higher speed than is possible with another type of AC motor that is widely used, the AC induction motor. With induction motors, you're generally limited to about 3,600 RPM unless you resort to drastic measures. Finally, Series Universal motors are also known for a high starting torque, which explains the fast spin-up we noticed when we powered up this motor. With the motor fan removed, you get a good view of the thermoset bracket supporting the end of the motor shaft and the brush assembly. The spring-loaded brushes are held in place by a bracket that makes the electrical connection between the brushes and the stator winding. Two screws hold each bracket on. These screws come off to let you replace the brushes when they wear out. The thermoset bracket that holds the brushes attaches to the assembly with two screws. By removing them, we were able to push the bracket off the end of the motor shaft and remove it. Removing the thermoset bracket brings a view of the ball bearing assembly at the end of the motor shaft and it also lets you lift the stator assembly out from where it sits in the thermoset base. This gives a good view of the ball bearings at the other end of the motor shaft and of the rotor assembly. A point to note about that rotor is that we can see it is divided into 22 segments. That equates to a little over 16 electrical degrees per segment. So if you're curious about how frequently the brushes switch their rotor connections, that happens with a little over 16 degrees of rotation. That's pretty much it for the components in the LAM electric motor. For more information on LAM, go to amatechdfs.com.